Žádný to dnešního videa, dneska to bude takový speciální, protože tady máme jednoho speciálního hosta. I'm gonna switch to English, so I'm gonna put the subtitles for the people. But in case uh, some of the people don't know you, how would you describe yourself? Okay, I'm Larry Wheels, I'm a powerlifter, bodybuilder and arm wrestler. Primarily strong men, strong men and strong men, <laughs> yes, I have doubted <laughs> strong men a bit. For about a year I tried strong men, they like the lock, clean and press, did 202 kg. Our best lifts would be 307 kg bench, 410 kg squat, and 425 kg deadlift in a deadlift suit. Um, here today with Jacob, the squat. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and squat 500 kg. Just kidding. We're doing <laughs> part of my program actually. New year, new program. Okay, I'm about 127 kg right now. Uh, just trying to go a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger as always. And I uh, get a good question. Yeah, I'm excited. On Instagram, you can see since when you are following someone. And I'm following you since 2016. Okay. Like, I was, wow. I was watching you on Kaiga's Trans channel. <laughs> and I was like, why is this guy not famous? Like, you were like 21 at that That's time. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You're, point super, now. you're super strong. Yeah. But you didn't, you wasn't, you weren't posting on YouTube at that time. Right. And I was like, fuck, why is he not famous? You were like super strong. So I'm glad you switched to YouTube. And it's like four years you're on YouTube. About four years full time YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Four years. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, you were like super strong, super big, and you're you're way way bigger than on, on uh, camera. Like in, in, uh, I'm realizing. Yeah. But uh, thank you for having me on the channel, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm I'm thank you for this opportunity. Like I've been following you for, for so long, so I'm grateful for that. I'm excited for the session. I'm gonna get a warm up, and then I'm gonna go buy your program. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay, it's all us for the intro, and let's get to work. All right, Jake Malari, out. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. We're kind of the same thing. Like, we do powerlifting, you know, bodybuilding, strongman. We combine it all. That's why we look up to you because we do the same shit. I make YouTube videos, fitness content, kind of similar to you, with like the health amount of weights you lift. So, would you say in Czech Republic, you and Anabolic Corps are kind of like arch nemesis, like rivals? What well, kind of? We actually bit. had a battle. We had a strength wars okay. against each other. Okay. That motherfucker won. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna get him one day. <laughs> like a friendly rivalry between us, you know? We pushed each other, but it's fine. But we're friends. We're friends. We have like dozens of videos together. So, I had a blog host. <laughs> well, I've only met a couple guys from Czech, as far as I know. And are you all just huge giant monsters? Because yeah, you. Actually, like, you saw um, the Golas. Golan. Uh, Golan Czech yeah. as well. Yeah. He's from Prague. You yeah, are all huge giant Prague. monsters, actually. He's like half Russian or something, but he, he lived in Prague. Okay. In Prague. So, what yeah. do they feed you guys in Czech? Because this I is not know. normal. Well, there are actually really many strong guys in Czech Republic. And many people drink beer. Maybe that's the case, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I don't drink beer, but many Czech guys do. Okay. okay. Maybe the ones that don't turn out to be giants. Yeah. <laughs> so I should go to Czech Republic because that's probably where the first superheroes are ever going to be. Well, you definitely should visit the uh, Czech Republic. Oh, like, you sure. have so many fans there. Like, would they would be to. thrilled to see you. And I'm speaking to your channel now. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching my channel. I don't know if you guys understand anything we're saying, but uh, I don't think English is a common language to be spoken in Czech. But... Well, many people speak English, except for anabolic horse. Many people understand. <laughs> <laughs> what are your best three lips? Um, well, I'm gonna say kilos, sure. um, but uh, deadlift is 350. Okay. Bench is like 220, like okay. a dead stop. Or, I mean, past past bench. And squat in reps, it was 325. Without reps, it's like 290. I have really poor mobility. It looks good so far. I'm surprised. We'll see. We'll see. I changed to I do safety squat because it feels better. You know, I can go deeper. But I haven't done just squats like this in a couple months. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll try to PR. We'll okay. see. Okay, okay. We have a lot of PRs this week already, so <laughs> if we can add you to the list, even better. Yeah, it's a good week it? for that so far. Yeah, it's a great week. Yeah. I don't believe that I'm doing it. 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 What is a Czech word? I'm doing it. 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 You don't use uh, weightlifting shoes, right? Never. Never. Um, I've never felt comfortable. I don't feel planted in them. Yeah. Because I feel like always too narrow for my feet. Mm. And I feel like I'm on stilts. Yeah. But on log lift, I actually feel better with weightlifting shoes. Have you tried? I have. Same issue. I, ha I don't have the stability. No. Especially when I go for the press, I end up stumbling all over. Yeah. I've given it like two or three sessions. May not be enough. Because mm. it's a skill, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, to lift and weight lifting shoe. It doesn't come like immediately. Yeah. It takes time to get used to it. Yeah. But it helps me with log lift. Kind of. But yeah. I like, you have like 200, 205? I've done 202. Same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't been able to train many strongman lifts because of arm wrestling. Yeah. Arm wrestle is extremely bicep intensive, just that strongman. Yeah, sure. The Atlas Stone and the log lift, especially the log clean and press. Atlas Stone after your injury. Uh, no, actually, I haven't gone heavy since. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's I what haven't, I thought. yeah. I've been turned off. But also, um, I've had so many injuries in pouncing already. Mm, yeah. And I know starting a strong man is even more an injury prone sport. Yeah. Where arm wrestling on the other side, the injuries are not as common. Mm. They're there, of course, like the elbow related injuries, perhaps, maybe torn bicep, mm. maybe. But in strong man, I mean, everyone turns a bicep in strong yeah. man. And everyone gets hurt in strong man every year, it seems. And do I want to like a, start a career with that uh -huh. after I already just had like a decade in power thing? Yeah. Not so much. What so if you've done like everything you wanted to achieve, right? Yes. We're like three, uh, three time world champion. And three different three weight, weight classes. classes. Yeah. yeah. So my hunger for power thing records is yeah. gone, really. Yeah. Uh, the only place I can go in power thing now would be like the best total overall yeah. in super heavyweight, which is like no weight limit, which would be going after a guy like, uh, like Ray Williams, for example. Actually, in Czech Republic, we have Petr Petraš, if you know him. Uh, he had an all-time world record. Okay. He, I don't know how, which how many. Or all lifts? All lifts. All lifts. All lifts. Okay. He was uh, the, the, he has the heaviest uh, of all, but it was like for two months and then some, some guy did more. Okay. 
But in, in Czech Republic, we have a like, really strong, strong uh, powerlifter. Yeah. I'm going to show him later. That's okay, he's really strong. He's like 470 squat. Oh, wow. That's huge. Uh, but he's like 170 kilos when he... He's on top. Super heavy. <laughs> and like two, 280 bench and 400 deadlift, I believe. Something like that. He's like really strong. But he's huge. Like 170 is really huge. Like I feel small next time. It's mental. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like 140? I'm like 133, 32, 33. something like that. It's pretty huge too. Yeah. I don't want to go over 140. I feel like I feel best in, at 130. I have the best like 125 to 130, yeah. around that range. Oh, I need to cut it a little. I feel like I'm, I'm bloated and you know, it's... That's Dubai that. for you. Dubai will do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the food here is too good. <laughs> Co na to zatím říkáš? Opičit. This week has been pretty brutal, my CNS, my lower back. I don't even know why my lower back is sore right now. I don't know what yeah. I did yesterday. This hit was okay. 23 reps, actually. Did you today. march too much? No. Maybe I did. It is sore. Like, I, I, it was two, 200, right? 200 for 23 reps. Yeah. That was shocking for me as well. And the day before, I did uh, 330 or 340? 340 I did for 11. I need to find my lower back to feel it. <laughs> You've been hitting many PRs lately. I have. Like a rep PRs. And it's purposely because when I go for singles, triples, I get injured. Yeah. It's like I'm rolling the dice. Like, am I going to get injured this time or not? It's just so much load, especially when um, I'm pushing so much more than my frame wants to handle. Yeah. Unless I get heavier, uh, add more muscle to my frame, mm -hmm. it gets increasingly risky to hit PR to this body weight. So that's why I've been focusing on PR. It's a, it's a, not injury free, but it's a lot less risky hitting 10 reps, 20 reps. Yeah. You know, the more reps you do, the less likely you're going to get injured. When you hit like some PR lift, you use headphones. And what do you listen to actually? Well, I've never, I've never <laughs> seen like, what do you listen during that lift? I've never seen it. I've gotten, I mean, you hear it now, like, you don't hear any tunes or yeah. anything fun. It's yeah. because of copyright, right? Thanks, YouTube. When I did used to use headphones, I was listening to Hate Breed. Death metal, something extremely loud, high yeah. energy, because you feed off the vibe music gives you, right? So yeah, it really helps me. It, it, it makes all the difference. Me. Yeah, you know, especially if the rest of the day you're not hearing music and you only play it during that one set. It's just like adrenaline, Inst yeah. like instant adrenaline. You don't even need like the ammonia. Response. I mean, if you add the ammonia too, <laughs> it's really something. Yeah, it becomes really something yeah. unique. I do have like some specific songs that I use for my PRs. It just yeah. works every time, and it really helps. But I don't use ammonia. It doesn't really help. Yeah. Like, I can't focus. For me, like, how I'm feeling right now, like, I'm a bit lethargic, taking long to get warmed up. CNS is probably really taxed from all the PR attempts this week. Yeah. Successful PRs. But on a day like this, I won't use it today. But, in a, for example, I feel like how I'm feeling today, I'll use ammonia. Because it wakes you up. It makes you feel fresh. Like, you're, you're brand new, you're wide awake. Like, you just had a gallon of coffee. Yeah, some uh, of you guys use, coffee. like, the slap. Yeah, yeah, the slap can help too. Yeah. There, these are, there are multiple methods to get amped up when you're feeling like not your best, or you're feeling like, you know, lethargic. Yeah. Slapping works, slapping the back of my neck kind of wakes me up. Yeah. Uh, the ears as well. Yeah, I, I saw it, I saw ears. Yeah. Um, ammonia, things like that. You know, grunting, like splitting out some, ah! Oh, all yeah. these things make all the difference. You're really feeling like you're dragging your feet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, first set. Yeah, that's good. Is that why you always slap me? 
<laughs> I slap you so I can get hyped up. <laughs> During the class, it's too quiet. Yeah. You could have said something. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. mentally like with him. <laughs> uh, during the battle with Anabolic Horse, like your lungs definitely hit PR that day. Oh, yeah. I saw it like an uh, ambulance uh, yeah. call in that day. What do you mean? Yeah. But I you want, catch my breath. But you won, so yeah. that's what matters. You don't look. I don't look back at that day and think how tired I was. Yeah. Think about winning. But that was the thing about the titles. <laughs> that, but that comes after. <laughs> Could it piss me stunk? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened to my waist? Actually, I want to try uh, classic physique uh, this year. I want to try it. I really, really want to try it. Yeah, I really want to try it. I, I've never had a diet in my life. I really want to cut it. Like, all the fat, all the water, I want to try it. I don't you have a good foundation. You got the calves, number one. It's Most smack, important calves. thing. But I actually started training them, and it sucks. Like, it sucks. But I need to train them before my leg day, not after. Before when I have energy and all that. After yeah. I'm like, I was gone. It's true. It sucks. Full biceps. <laughs> Guys, it's just, I don't know. It, I have small arms. I have like good chest, kind of back. But I'm, I will try. I'm not like planning to win pro cut and all that. Like you tried by the way, right. something like that. I want to try, see how it looks on stage, you know, posing, vacuum and all that. Just try. You'll enjoy the process. Yeah. Seeing and yourself get super shredded, your face slimming out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Like, I love lifting weights, like heavy, which you can't really do when you do bodybuilding. Yeah. Like strictly bodybuilding. For sure. So I'm gonna try it and then go back to powerlifting or strongman. So you hit 12. Yeah. And then so, I, I hit 20. 20, I'm let's see <laughs> I'd love to see that. I don't know I, I've, how many I've done with this. Because when, when it comes to squats, it really sucks with your breath. Yes. It, that's, that's worst. I mean, bench, you can't really do like 20, 30 reps. Fine. Yeah. But 30 reps for squats, it sucks. Like for your breath. It's horrible. Yeah. Like, I forgot to eat the cluttering today. I read the <laughs> damn container cluttering. Oh, great. Today I get to use the squat day. <laughs> and I forgot. I'll try how many I can do. Yeah. You do it. You got it. <laughs> All right, Jacob. Oh, beautiful. All right. You're in that groove now. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. In that groove now. Eight. <coughs> yep. Nine. In that groove. Come on. Ten. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. Those are really clean reps. You no, know, I was saying that was my PR. Was it? Like, I swear it was my PR. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't do squats for reps. Always doing five times? Yeah, like five. Like above five, it's two man cardio. <laughs> so, figure we'll jump for 10. We'll try, we'll try. Go for eight. Yeah, I could do like two more, but I would, I would be done for the day. Yeah. So I had like 10, I can do more. And that's the thing, guys. When you have more than one top set, for your workout, if you burn out and rep on the first set, you're not doing those other two sets or however many you have left. Always leave on that first working set two, three reps in the tank. And if it says eight and you went a bit too heavy, you did six. Don't force that eighth rep. Just lower the weight, do something comfortable. Otherwise, you're missing out on all that good volume work that helps build that foundation for the one, three, and five rep max PRs. Like I did 12. Probably could have pushed for 15 or 20, but then I'd be done for the workout. That would be it. I would not have any energy to do anything else. So like he said, two more reps, he would have been done for the day. I still feel great. Uh, I'm still going to do two more sets. I'll try with a 10. Uh, try eight. Breathing still challenge. That's, otherwise, I would do 10, but I know if I do 10, I'll make it yeah. for 20 minutes. So. It's terrible because you need to like really breathe in and then don't breathe. This way. Yes. It sucks. That's the thing about squats. Managing the breathing is very tough because you need to have an intra-abdominal brace. 
breathe into your diaphragm and brace. And to do that, you need a lot of oxygen for each rep to have that strong brace and spring out of the hole. Uh, if you're going significantly lighter, you're doing bodybuilding style of reps, it's different. You don't need a huge intra-abdominal brace every single rep. You can get by with a mild contraction and focus more on just squeezing your quads, your glutes, and everything else. You're not lifting just to move the weight from point A to B. It's why like this, like a power lift there. It's really tight in the lungs. Yeah, because in bodybuilding, they do a lot of stuff like isolated. Right. You don't use that core that much. That's exactly. But in powerlifting, if you breathe out, on, on this position, when you breathe out, it's oh, yeah. the way you get injured. You, know? you get injured, your lower back will take too much load. Yeah. Because this brace is what protects your lower back. And as you mentioned, they do isolation work. So, sorry, to keep their waist small, they purposely yeah. don't do the intergominal brace, wear big, thick belts, lift super heavy in the squat and deadlift. Otherwise, look, you're 6'4", 134, my waist is bigger than his. Uh, I'm really, really wide. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm like that, it's yeah. really wide. It's pretty good. Actually. Mine's even wider, I guess. You have a I good six pack, too. It's, it's asymmetrical. <laughs> it sucks. When, I, when I'm bulking, I have like a really huge hat, but six pack. <laughs> that's that's great. That's a great problem. You make it sound like it's something bad. That's a great problem to have. I, I hold like water on my legs and hat. But six pack is like year round. Hmm, don't you just hate him, Adam? He was super, but I parla PR, echo. Já nejezdím prostě dřepy na opáčka, ale nechal se zvěcí. Ale právě z dvou stojí lery, tak já prostě jdu ještě, jdu ještě, jdu ještě. Bylo to desetkrát, což je vlastně PR tak nějak, takže díky lery, je to super. Ale mě to uvnitř úplně já sám, ale na venek jsem jako, že a však pohodě jdeme řepovat. Ale já tě znám, a uvnitř úplně ti to, úplně ti to uvnitř na oči. Je to super. <laughs> tak to je hezký dárek, ne? Na, na, a jo vlastně, na moje narosty, ježiš. No, já slavím narosky s lerem, co víc si přát, to bylo. It's really easy. Oh, the wraps help a little bit. Can I try them also? I don't actually use wraps. At all. I've done it like three times. These are. Yeah, I know, but it, you gotta get used to it. Like if you put them on the first time, you're not gonna lift more. And it's the same with a suit. I mean, I mean you're, gonna, you're not gonna lift more with a suit immediately. You gotta get used to it. Exactly. These are very light, which is good because they won't feel vastly different from squatting in knee sleeves. What was your worst injury? Probably the bicep? Yeah, it yeah. couldn't be repaired, 100%. And my left bicep looked so good too before it happened. <laughs> it had to be the left. Could have been the right, it would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to remove a 10 and put a 20 on. So this actually, ooh, 85. Here's a 55 pound bar. Maybe a slightly more actually. I'm just wondering what are your plans for this year, like as a competition wise? Only set my plans until uh, about April, yeah. which is uh, another arm wrestling super match, you can imagine. Uh, with who to be determined, but that's in late April. As far as strongman, powerlifting, nothing planned. I will be at the Arnold Sports in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, my coach is actually competing there, John Gaglione. And um, I'll just be attending, but I won't be competing in that competition. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I want to try the classic physique this year and probably st strongman next year. I did a first strongman competition last year. I was like fifth in a like national national competition. But I'm not used to it, you know. Yeah. 
I'm not used to all these all these exercises, so I gotta get used to it. Of course. But it was good. I enjoyed it more than uh, uh, part of it, actually. It was way more fun and people were more engaged. Yeah. Like powerlifting, the fans, I mean, who really understands powerlifting is gonna enjoy it. But strongman is for any other people. That's right. Like, because you know, you lift cars and log lifts, and it looks heavier Absolutely. than anything else. And it's more of a race yeah. to finish than it is uh, just one rep. Yeah. And also, there is that danger aspect to strongman because there really are no spotters in strongman for the log cleaning press, for example or for like a farmer's walk. So fans, the audience watching, they're not hoping for something bad to go wrong, yeah. but they know that something could go wrong. Yeah. And then there's no one there to save them. <laughs> so it's just way more enjoyable for Yes. For, for and it makes all that more exciting. Yeah. You know, where there's danger, there's fun, right? And in powerlifting, it's like a very controlled environment yeah. with the straps and the rack and six spotters all around you. So it just makes it a little bit less yeah. exciting, I think, for the audience. Not to mention that in some of these head to head. So yeah, two players going against each other at the same time, almost always. Yeah, yeah. Which I think really helps the ante as opposed to powerlifting, where it's one person at a time. Yeah. You know, maybe they have that 60, 60 second time limit, yeah. but in strong man, like when you like, okay, who's gonna finish first? Who's gonna do more reps than the other? And it's like at the same time, something about that just feels more like a like combat sport. Yeah. I enjoyed when it was like Hafter Bjornsson and Eddie Hall against each other. It's yeah. Really good. They were really competitive. My favorite is um, uh, Kukowski and Thor when they did the medley to put it on top of the house. Oh, yeah. and, and they were moving, I swear, every single step was identical. Yeah. How they grabbed the weight, how they picked up was like, it was so strange. Like a mirror version of themselves. But stuff like that was really fun to watch. But Hafta looks good right now. He's like 140. He looks really good. Like really healthy. Oh, yeah. He's... Like he used to be 205, I believe. Yeah. So fucking yeah, fun when he was too hot too. Yeah. The thing about half door is now he has a kid and it's great that he's great to retire strong man, be healthy for his child. Yeah. Watch his kid grow, spend time with his kid. Being two or five kicky, what's his life expectancy like? Yeah. I mean it's extremely unhealthy. And uh, I'm glad that he made that turnaround with a huge positive because he's getting paid well for the boxing yeah. and all. And yeah, he looks better. Right? Well, I'm ready for too. Yeah. Uh, but he, he, he feels way better. Oh yeah. yeah. And he's still super strong. You can still pull 320 any day of the week, you know. But he's like 208? Two, oh, oh sorry, yeah, 208, yeah. Amazing. That's I, it's I, Iceland. <laughs> and oh, check yeah. guys as well. You gotta be <laughs> used too, don't get it twisted. <laughs> PR as well. Awesome. I gotta do really PRs for reps when it comes to squats. For bang. Yeah. Squats are definitely the most brutal to hit rep PRs in, no doubt. Well, deadlifts are fine when you do touch and, touch and go. Yeah, yeah. You can do that, but that's not good. I wanna teach you some Czech sentence. You say, sell me, jako zmrt. Say that again. You say, sell me, jako zmrt. You say Cerny. You say Cerny. You say Cerny. Ja Kozmert. Ja Kozmert. Yeah. E and it means uh, you are strong as fuck. In Czech. <laughs> but, uh, thank okay. you. Pretty, pretty good accent. Uh, do I? Huh? I don't sound like an American. It's actually good. <laughs> we have one, one letter in Czech language that any other languages don't have. Which and it's, it's Z. J. Yeah. No. J. Or G and J together. No, it's like huh? Z. A G R. J. Kind J E R. Like. Sure. We are the only language that has this letter, and I don't know why. Like, <laughs> no one, no other countries can pronounce it. And it's z, like, sure. like, zezika. Ah, uh, Yeah, it, it's, it's really Zizeka. tough to pronounce it. Zizeka. But it was pretty good. The Czech sentence was pretty good. Ah, 
comment below if it was actually pretty good. I think you might be no, a bit really, biased. Really huh? It was. I was surprised. That's nice. You want to hit some accessory movement? Or? Uh, well, typically, I would do like a bodybuilding range of like accessories, but this gym is really best for yeah, it, it's okay. only squats, bench, deadlifts, you know, yeah. strongman equipment. Um, we could get a good thumbnail. Though. Yeah. I which one. So I'll take these off. I'll look up to you. You can go on your tippy toes. <laughs> for, to be like check giant. You know? Yeah, you can do it shirtless, probably. Sure, yeah. There's a little bit of shirtless this, this year video. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you for the opportunity. Oh, thank you for having me on the channel. Yeah, like I said, I've been following you for so long. And actually, it's my birthday today. And oh, it was, happy it was, Thank you. And it was really <laughs> the greatest gift I could, I could get, like turning with you. So it was like best birthday gift ever. How old are you turning today? Uh, 25 today. No, wait, you're 25? Yeah, yeah. but today. I'm <laughs> today? <laughs> yeah. well, you should have got that on our channel, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for that. It was really amazing. And I hope you're going to visit Czech Republic because you have really many fans there. Of course, it'll be my pleasure. With me, with Anabolic Ghost, like, people are going to love it. Right. So you should definitely, and you're going to love Prague. I really, think I will. I hope to see them check Giants. All right, so thank you. To the next this is a cheese tip. Ven a check now. Ahora se está haciendo.